Hi, I want to talk to you about the four questions by Lynn Sharon Schwartz, illustrated by Ori Sherman. This was a book that was one of my very, very favorite books that I've ever published. Um, it first came out in the 1980s when I was at Dial um, with the great art director, Aitha Tihan. And um, we made this beautiful book uh, by artist Ori Sherman and with a text by Lynn Sharon Schwartz. I really am so excited to bring it back into print, this time with an additional new uh, note by um, art historian Ori Sultan um, to put this gorgeous artwork in perspective. Um, basically what the Four Questions does is it brings that traditional part of the Passover Seder to the forefront. Um, the Four Questions are normally asked by the youngest child at the Seder, um, and they start with the question, why is this night different from all other nights? And it asks three more questions, and through the answers, um, children really get to hear the entire story of Passover. Um, here, as you can see, um, the question is written in English, and then, if you turn it upside down, you can read, you can read the question in Hebrew. Um, it's really a remarkable experience. Um, the, the calligraphy was done by the, the famous calligrapher Lily Castle Ronker. Um, and the whole book is just an exquisite production. And it's also a very beautiful, um, fluid, easy to read um, discussion of Passover. I would love to introduce you all to The Big House and the Little House by Yoshi Ueno, illustrated by Emiko Fujishima. It's the story of this big bear and this little mouse who both live in the forest along the road, but they don't ever meet. And they're both quite lonely, so it's sad that they don't meet. And one day, they do actually meet. And they decide, you know what? Why don't we have tea? So they agree to do that. And they go over to uh, Little Mouse's house and they have some, a wonderful tea and they agree to meet the next Sunday. Unfortunately, the next Sunday, there's a big, big storm. And Bear becomes really worried about his friend. And he dashes out in the dangerous storm, shouting for her. And when he gets there, he does see that her house is about to be washed away by the storm. And he has an idea and he says, little mouse, I have an idea if you'll let me do it. And his idea is to pick up the house and carry it to higher ground, which happens to be right next door to Big Bear's house. I just think this is a lovely story about friendship and how we help each other out. Um, and it's the kind of book that you definitely think, mis you know, is one of your favorite books. It has a mysterious pull. Um, and I think this is one of those books, so I hope you enjoy it. The next book that I want to talk to you about is What Ali Saw by Yuka Achfeld illustrated by C. Postema. Here's the mischievous Ollie right here on the front. Um, and this is a story. I'm showing you the beautiful end papers. This is a story about Ollie, who is very imaginative and very sure of himself. And he sees things a little differently than everybody else, especially his bossy big sister. Um, so, when they are stuck on a train and looking out the windows, the sister sees ordinary cows. But 
Ollie sees very exciting water buffalo with big horns making loud noises. When they're in traffic, driving in the car, um, the sister sees nothing but cars, and Ollie sees a whole circus going on. This pattern uh, continues until Ollie uh, goes to school uh, one day, and the teacher asks him to read from the board, and he sees things that do not look like the letters. He insists that the way he sees is just fine, but he does have to get glasses, and he even wears them most of the time. <laughs>